I should explain one. Magicians and sometimes gamblers as well do something called palming. This is the ability to hide cards in the hand invisibly. It looks like that. Looks great, doesn't it? However, some gamblers have come up with something amazing. It's called the invisible palm. Doesn't look good? Yeah. Can't even oh, see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can't see it until I bring it down here. Oh. Oh. That should be the ace of clubs. There it is, ace of clubs. That leaves me over here with the hearts and diamonds. Spades and clubs. Okay? I have two cards here. I have the diamonds and I have the hearts. Watch the heart. Invisible. I can't see it. Until I drop it. <gasps> there it is. Ace of hearts. <laughs> oh. Ace of diamonds. This is the tough one. I'm going to palm that one right out of the center. See? There it is. A very simple trick. One of the first tricks I ever learned. I was very, very lucky growing up that I got to meet some of the just great magicians. Um, and there was a man in New York named Derek Dingle. And Derek taught me this trick, and I've been doing it for about 30 years ever since. It uses, it's very simple because it only uses five cards. The ace of hearts, the two of hearts, the three, the four, and the five. Okay? And here's how the trick works. The ace of hearts will be put down, click the fingers, jumps up to the top. Simple. <laughs> Do it again. Look. There it is. Goes down. Click my fingers. Oh. Jumps up to the top. That's the ace. Next one is the two. The fun part about the trick is I repeat this so you get to try to catch me. There's the two. Place it down inside. Give it a little spin. The two's on the top. I'll do it in slow motion. There's oh. the two. Now the three. The three is jump to the bottom. There's the three. If I just turn the cards over, click my fingers, now the three has reversed itself in the center. Turn them over again. The three back on the bottom. Watch the three. How is the three? Come on. Face down, right? Right. How is it now? It's still face down. Now, how's it now? No, now it's face up. <laughs> okay. Two cards left. Four and the five. The four will go down the bottom. Only two jumps to the top. That's the four. Leaves me with one card. That's the only problem with this trick, is that you have one card left. Ken, would you just... Rub that card, we're going to try to do some magic with it. Did you see that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> lift your hand up. Watch. Watch. <laughs> Simple little trick. First of all, we're going to give him a little one of my favorite. Shuffles, it's called the waterfall. Like that. Oh, here we go. There we go. Give him another little cut like that. Oh! Hey, would you pull one out and let everybody see it? Okay. Hey, everybody get to see the card. Fantastic. Card somewhere in the deck. I need a little helper for this. Let me reach down in my pockets. Well, he's not there. He's not there. Okay, I need a little magic then. There it is. <laughs> My little helper. <laughs> An old silver dollar. Educated silver dollar. Put him here, he jumps over to there. Do that again. Put him there and comes back up here. Last time, he's going to help me find the card. That's his job. Go like that. 
There he is. Uh, what was the card you saw? Three of diamonds. Oh, there <laughs> it is. <laughs>